Hi guys, Barker Butts Crossfader, DJ Holland here. Now, the news is broke. Apple has killed iTunes off. Now, what does that mean for the DJ world, for DJs like you and me? Well, thankfully, they are replacing it with an application called Apple Music, so don't worry just yet. We do believe that Serato, Record Box, Tractor are all going to have updates which will allow you to continue using Apple Music as a source for playlists and for media. However, that's not confirmed, and a lot of DJs are a little bit worried, and a lot of DJs are asking us, how exactly do you get your music out of iTunes? Now, I DJed on iTunes for about six years. I was well embedded in it, but there was flaws. It wasn't perfect. For example, you can't move a track from a playlist that's accidentally been put in there from Serato or, or Recordbox. You've got to go back into iTunes and redo it, and then you've got to shut Serato down and reload Serato if you want that change to be shown. It's just a bit of a mess. It's a lot better, a lot more efficient, helps with load times, and for your general performances to be managing your playlists and your libraries within the softwares themselves. So how do we get our existing playlists and media out of iTunes and start managing them separately? Well, there's a couple of ways of doing it, and I'm going to show you how now. The way iTunes manages its library is if you go into your music folder, iTunes has its own folder within your music. You can double click in here, click into media, and into music. And this is everything that's within iTunes is in, in this folder here. It, this is how it, how it organizes its library. Now, it does a very neat job of it. it it's our artist A to Z, and then within there is the albums and then the tracks. Now, the problem is, if you download a piece of music onto your computer, so for example, I'm just going to open up a new finder window and I'm going to go to my downloads. I've downloaded Nathan Daw Repeat After Me. Now, as you can see, that's not in my library here. we will go down to N. It's not in iTunes. And because it's not in iTunes, it's also not in this iTunes library within my music folder. However, I've just downloaded this song and I play it. So that track's now playing, and that's without us adding it to a playlist or doing anything else. If we now scroll down through our library, Nathan Dozer, if we now open our music folder, that iTunes folder that's within your music, we can see that there's now a folder there called Nathan Daw. We can open that, and the track's there. It hasn't moved the track, it's simply just copied it. If I go back to my downloads, the file's still there. Now, if you don't believe me, I can drag that into my, I'll delete it, sorry, so put that in the trash, open the trash. There's the original file, I'll delete that. Yep, go back into here and play something else just very quickly so you know it's not just stored up. It's still there. What it's doing is it's playing that track from the version it created. Now, many people know about this. Many people know about this. However, if you didn't know about this, you may be finding that your hard drive is running out of space a lot quicker than it should be because what's happening is if you're not going through your downloads folder or wherever you're downloading the music to, you're actually creating two files and you've got two of everything sat on your computer. It's a bit of a nightmare. We can stop iTunes doing this by going to preferences, go to advanced, and it's there. Copy files to iTunes media folder when adding to library. Now, if you're going to follow through with this rest of this video and you're going to delete, um, you, well, you're going to stop using your iTunes to organize your library, top tip is to untick that now. So if you ever accidentally open a file, like I've just done within um, my downloads folder, I've just double clicked it and just played it, it'll stop iTunes automatically making that duplicate. So we'll stop that. We'll make sure that's unticked and we'll click OK. Now I've created a playlist on here just to demonstrate this video. So I've created this playlist, it's called How To Get Off iTunes and there's two tracks in here and both these tracks, if we reveal them in Finder, are tracks that iTunes has conveniently placed for us in that iTunes folder in the music. So these are not tracks that are in my downloads, these are tracks just like you will have, no doubt, within the iTunes folder. There's two ways of getting your music out of iTunes. Um, now, it depends what you want to do and how organized your iTunes library is already. 
if your iTunes library is full of playlists and every single track within your library is in one of those playlists and you never play any of the tracks that maybe aren't in a playlist, so for example here, I've got some Alex Ross here. That isn't in my How To Get Off iTunes playlist and it's not in any of my other playlists if I had them. So if I was to do this first method, you may lose that track from your library moving forward. So bear that in mind. This is a method for people who've got very neat folders and know where everything is already in their playlists. But the first thing we'd do to move our playlists away from iTunes is we'd go to Finder or Windows Explorer, head to our music folder. And what we're going to do is you can see I've already done this um, on my own laptop. Um, when I moved, I've just moved from a, an old laptop onto a new one. I did this method on my old laptop and this is why you can see I've got a lot of folders that are genre categorized because these are the exact folders and playlists I had in my old iTunes. So for the uh, nature of this uh, demonstration, I'm just going to create a new folder that's a duplicate name for the playlist I've already got. So my playlist is called How To Get Off iTunes. I would imagine yours would be called something like pop, rap, cheese, drum, bass, etc. So we're just going to name it the exact same How To Get Off iTunes. And we'll just open up that folder. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to highlight these tracks. If you press on one and then and so press on one and then you press Command A or Control A to select all. And then what you can do is you can drag them two tracks into there. Now when you've got these two tracks in here into this um, folder and you've created all the folders that they are identical to the playlist you've got here. We can then, conveniently, if we open up Serato, we can open up our Finder window on top, and this is a really neat time-saving trick. You can then, where is it? How to get off iTunes. We can simply drag this folder, hover it over the crates until you see the blue box around the top there. Drop. And there we go, how to get off iTunes. It's the exact same playlist as you can see, we've got our iTunes uh, open here within uh, Serato. There's the how to get off iTunes folder here, and there's the how to get off iTunes crate. And then what we can do, once we've done that, we can head up here, go to library, stop showing the iTunes library, and we can then delete the iTunes folder if we wish once we've completed this. The Procedure is the exact same in Rekordbox. We can get how to get off iTunes folder here, hover it over playlists, and drop. I'm just analyzing files. And there we go. We have two playlists, two tracks in our playlist, sorry, that are the exact same as the iTunes one down here. So there's the iTunes one, there's the one in our playlist. Again, we can then go to the settings. Stop showing the iTunes, and then if we wish, once we've done that with every playlist and we know everything's important and working fine, we could potentially go into the iTunes folder and delete the media from in there. Or we can wait for the update to Apple Music in case it doesn't work, and there you go, you've already got your playlist, everything's sorted, you're good to go. So for our second method, Maybe you don't want a music folder that's full of uh, genres or playlist folders. And maybe you want to move your entire record collection out of iTunes, absolutely every track, and move it straight into your DJ software, but still keep your playlists. So there's a quick way of doing this as well. If we go to Strata or Recordbox, the procedure is very similar. You'll notice how we've got iTunes showing again. We've turned that back on. We need it for the time being. What we'll do is we'll create crates within the software. So we're in Serato now, so we'll create a crate that's the exact same as our playlist here, how to get off iTunes. Head to the iTunes playlist, select all, drag into your crate that's the identical of the playlist. There we go, that's all worked. We've got everything there. Do this for every single playlist you've got in iTunes. Recordbox, very much the same. So there's our iTunes one. 
So we've got no playlist showing at the moment in Recordbox, so I'm just going to create a new playlist. And again, make it the exact same. Head back to the iTunes one. Control A or Command A. Drag, drop. I need to analyze them because I've not brought them in before. And there we go, the tracks are there ready for us to go. Now these are reading from our iTunes folder, of course. So in our music folder here, they are reading from the iTunes folder, which for some reason I can't see right now. There it is, iTunes Media, Music, that's where it's reading it from. There's the Medusa track, it'll be in that folder, and the Stormzy track will be in there. However, we want to come off iTunes and away from that folder, don't we? So what we can do is, if you're happy to stop using iTunes completely, what we can do is, because this will break iTunes, so be aware of that, you will delete effectively your iTunes library. You'll keep your files, but your iTunes will stop working as you know it. So if you're using it to back up to an iPod or something like that, just be aware of this when you're doing this trick. But if you happen to go ahead, this is what we do. All our library from iTunes is in here in this one folder called music. Now we can't drag that music folder into the music folder because they're named the exact same. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head one level up, iTunes Media, and we're gonna rename this folder. So rename that. I'm gonna call it Artists A to Z because that's how inside there is an A to Z of your artists and in there, their albums and inside there, their tracks. Now, like I said, this will break iTunes as soon as we rename that folder. So iTunes library will now be not working properly. We're gonna drag this folder into music. And now in our music folder, we have a artists A to Z folder with everything A to Z listed in there. Now, the problem is we can go back into, into Recordbox now and we can turn off the iTunes section because one, it won't work and two, we don't need it anymore, we've moved away from iTunes, so we'll do the same in Serato. Preferences, library display, show iTunes. So if we try and load these tracks now, because we move them, we can see that it cannot find the files, because we, we've moved them. So we need to relocate them. So if you open the files button here, you can press the relocate lost files, but it could take a while, because uh, it'll search your entire hard drive. Now we know where we've moved these files, we've moved them into music and into artist A to Z. So we can grab that folder and we can drag it onto relocate lost files. And all of a sudden, our new playlists that we've created that are identical to the ones we had before. There we have it. They're there, the files are back. Very similar situation within record box. So we can see within here that because we've moved the files, they're no longer locating. So what we need to do is we can go up to file, display on missing files. We found the two tracks, so we need to hit relocate. Now the top one, we're looking for Vossy Bop, so we only have to do this once. So we'll go to music, artist A to Z, because that's where we moved it to. Storms it on an album, Vossy Bop, there it is, open. And it will ask us, do you want to use this file path to find the other locations? Yes. There we go, it's relocated the files. We can now play them. We've got no iTunes, and we've got our files back. Perfect. So we've relocated these two tracks, but we need to add the rest of our library into record box, just in case there's a file that's not been put into a playlist that we might want to look up. So we go to Finder, Artist A to Z. Remember, that's got everything from our iTunes library inside it. There we go, you're dragging it, and then you just drop it on top of collection. Set your analyst, press OK. And now if we go in here and find just a quick artist, there we go, Basement Jacks wasn't in the playlist, so it would have automatically been moved across, but we go to collection, and Basement Jacks is there. We can drag that in. It's just analyzing, and there we go. Our entire music collection from iTunes is now in Recordbox, and we can use Recordbox solely to manage our music. And it's the exact same procedure on Serato. So to drag in your entire music collection, you just grab the folder, drop it over all, let go, 
and it will bring in your entire music collection straight into Serato. No need for iTunes anymore. Like I said, your iTunes folder will not work in this method, but there you go, everything's in there. You can now use Serato or Rekordbox to manage your music, no iTunes involved anymore. And there we have it. Just a couple of ways you can manage your music away from iTunes. Now, like we said at the beginning, we don't believe this is the death of, well, it is the death of iTunes, but Apple Music will replace it and you'll just continue as you did before. We're pretty confident of that. However, if you're worried or you're wanting to move off iTunes, this is how to do it. We hope it's been of help to you. If it has, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in another video very shortly. Thanks.